2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So the question might say, factorise this, or it might say something a bit fancier. It might say, determine linear factors of this expression. So the first thing we do is we work out our discriminant, b squared minus 4ac. Well, that's 3 squared. Don't worry about the negative sign because negative 3 squared is the same as positive 3 squared. So 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times 1. Well, that's 1. That's a positive perfect square. So I should be able to factorise this pretty easily. I need two numbers that multiply to 2 and add to negative 3. I need two numbers that multiply to give me 2 and add to give me negative 3. Now I will say it's possible that some of you may have learnt to just go multiply to 1 and add to negative 3. That only works if this coefficient is 1, but here it's not. You have to include a and c. So we're going to go multiply to 2 and add to negative 3. So those numbers must be what? N negative 1 and negative 2. Both negative to get negative 3 when I add them, and both negative multiplied will give me a positive. So, what I'm going to do is split up the negative 3 into negative 2 plus negative 1. 2x squared minus 2x. It doesn't actually matter whether you put the negative 2 first or the negative 1 first. You'll get the same answer in the end. I decided to put the 2 first because there's a clear factor here, but it doesn't actually matter. Minus 1x plus 1. Factorise in pairs x minus 1. Now here's a trick. I'm looking for x minus 1. I've got minus x plus 1. So I'm going to take out a negative 1. I don't have to write the 1. Maybe I will so you can see. I'm going to write the negative 1. So I'm going to get x minus 1. Now you can see a common factor. 2x minus 1. Each times x minus 1. So, this was perfect square, so it was pretty easy to factorise. But what if it's not a perfect square? Let me show you. 2x squared minus 6x plus 3. So here, b squared minus 4ac is 6 squared is 36. Don't worry about the negative. Negative 6 squared is the same as positive 6 squared. 36 minus uh, 4 times 6, which is 24. So that's positive. It's 12. But 12 is not a square, not a perfect square. That means my linear factors are going to involve thirds. Now, it is possible for you to come up with them, but it's very, very difficult. You have to come up with two numbers that add to negative 6 and multiply to 6. And doing that, involving the thirds, is very complicated. There is an easier me method, and that is completing the square. So let's complete the square. You may remember the easiest way to complete the square for a non-monic quadratic is to take the 2 out. Like so. Take the factor of 2 out so it's monic. Now let's complete the square. x squared minus 3x, leave a big space, plus 3 on 2. In that space I'm going to complete the square. I need half of this squared. So it's plus, always plus, 3 on 2 squared. Then... Because I've said it's equal, I better subtract the thing I just added. Subtract 3 on 2 squared. OK, leave the 2. 
this part is a perfect square. It's x minus 3 on 2 all squared. Except I needed another set of brackets. Sorry. There we go. Now what's this? Minus 9 on 4 plus 3 on 2. Well, 3 on 2 is 6 on 4. Shall I write that? just to make sure it's extra clear. 2 x minus 3 on 2 squared minus 9 on 4 plus 6 on 4. Well, that is... I'm going to think I'm going to run out of room here. x minus 3 on 2 squared minus... Minus 9 plus 6 is minus 3. And now I have a difference of squares. So that's 2. X minus 3 on 2. Um, plus root 3 on 2. That was a very ugly square root sign. Um, it's the square root of this, which is root 3 on 2. And then the other factor is x minus 3 on 2 minus root 3 on 2. And I have indeed just run out of space for writing my answer. So that is 2, I'm just going to simplify this, x minus, I'm going to put the, all the things over 2 together, and it's going to be easy to go plus, negative 3 plus root 3 over 2, x plus negative 3 minus root 3 over 2. And that is my writing of this quadratic in linear factors by completing the square.